In this video, we'll take a look at the Yale Link MP56, one of the most popular desk phones that's made for Microsoft Teams phone system. I'll show you what comes in the box, how to set this up on your desk, and we'll do a quick comparison to other models you might want to consider. My name is Bogdan Chperny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. And if you're an organization of one to 99 employees, you can get a hold of me using the contact links in the video description. I can help you walk through which desk phone you might need and even if the team's phone system is right for your business, because in some cases, it even saves you on your phone bill and yet you also get more features. All right, so it comes in a box like this. It just says Smart Business Phone MP56. There is no seal here. Okay, quality check, cool. So we have a quick start guide, which I will walk you through. And then here's the phone itself, or the main unit at least. Okay, so this is just the main phone here without the handsets. So you have your two RJ45 ports here and RJ9. So that's for the actual handsets and headsets, internet and PC and power adapter, USB type A, 5 volt, and I'll show you that later how to connect it all. These are of course just your buttons. You got your Teams button. So we do have the ethernet cable, the handset cable, the actual handset here. And this is the desk phone stand. Okay, so this is the actual handset. And it just has the RJ9 port here. Okay, and so that's it. We have the telephone self, the handset, the phone stand, telephone cable there, and a ethernet cable. Okay, so this is your just kind of standard, it's a CAT 5E cable, if that means anything to you, and it's just the RJ45 connector. It's about six and a half feet long, or it should be, and this alone can power your device and give internet to it if you do have a PoE switch. Now, if you're not sure if you have a PoE switch, first of all, it would say PoE on it, on the switch itself. I and mean, if you already bought this phone and you're trying to hook it up, you can just plug it in and then we'll see, and I'll show you how to do that. And then you can just see if it powers on or not. I and mean, that way you can know if, if you need a actual power adapter, because the phone itself does have a port here for a power adapter, but it does not come with the power brick itself. So you could buy this, it's just a five volt, two amp output power adapter. So Yay Link sells one themselves, but honestly, any other one will do. So we'll test that out. And what's not included here as well, there, this is just a desk stand, which I'll show you how to do that. But they also sell a kind of wall mounted option that's not included, that's an optional thing. All right, so if you want to set this up on your desk, just grab the phone, the bracket here. As you can see, it's just going to slide. Okay, so this is going to face the bottom. It's going to slide in here. And to the right, just like that. So it locks in. This is now flush. So you know it's secure. It has some rubber feet here. And if you need to adjust the angle, you can do so with these additional legs right there. Okay, then next you connect the handset. So on the back of the phone, you'll notice there's a headset icon and a handset icon. Okay, so we're connecting the handset. So you push it in until you hear that click. And then the other side, of course, goes into the handset itself. just like that. So this is the easiest way kind of to use it. If you want to actually utilize this hook and you notice that your handset's kind of falling off, 
okay, maybe it's more vertical. What you actually want to do is that this, this piece right here actually slides out. So give it a nice push up. Okay, so you see it slides out like that. And you want to flip it around 180 degrees. And then just notice the slot and push it back in. Okay, so now it's a line and you push it till it clicks. So now you have this tab sticking out and now the phone kind of sits in there a little bit more safe. You see I'm, I'm basically vertical and it's not falling off. Even more so and still not falling off, okay. Now the other thing here we forgot actually is you do want to route the telephone wire here under here just to clean it up a bit. There we go. Okay, so with your handset aside, you want to grab this ethernet cable. And the assumption is that you have an RJ45 plate. So kind of the same way if you have your computer connected right now through ethernet, meaning it's not through Wi-Fi, but the internet is coming through this cable. If you only have one port and you don't have anything else available in your wall, you can actually unplug your computer temporarily and instead plug in this cable. Okay, so you one cable, one end is into your wall, into the RJ45 port, and the other end goes here, not into PC, but into the internet port. Okay, so now at this point, if you actually have a PoE switch, it will power on your phone already, right? And you, you can just test that out, but otherwise it will not power on. So you know that you do need a power adapter to actually power it on. And now the ethernet cable that you unplugged that went from your computer to the wall outlet, you can now plug it in through here. So the internet will actually pass in from the wall plug that you had to the phone out here and to your PC as well. Okay, and then finally there's a little tab right here that just to, for the display here. It is a touchscreen display, uh, seven inch across. One thing I should point out here is that you don't have to unplug your PC, okay? So if you have more ethernet ports in your wall outlet uh, next to your desk, then you can, you know, you don't have to feed your PC through here. You can just leave it plugged in where it was and just power on your phone like this. And also just if you, you know, accidentally plugged in the wrong cable or something to remove this, you just have to depress here Depress and pull out. Okay, so you're just depressing on this and you just yank it out. So I'll plug it in here to a switch that does have PoE. And you'll just see this screen. Okay, so it lights up. It's, it's going to take a minute or two for this to boot up. And once it gets to this screen, that means it's all booted up and next is to set up the software. If you do need more help on how to set up the rest of the phone system, check out the video up on the screen or in the video description. Now to compare the MP56 to other Teams devices that you can get, and these are specifically from Yellowlink because they're kind of known to work best with the Microsoft Teams, okay? At least for the personal devices. So we looked at the MP56, which is right here. So there's these other ones, and I'll have this link for you that you can take a look at. This MP59, it's versatile. It's the most expensive, like 500, more than $500, but it can be used as a device on its own, or you can kind of set up a impromptu meeting with it as well. So this here is the MP50. It's a USB phone, meaning you don't plug it in to the internet with the Ethernet port, but you plug it in just via USB to your computer. Okay, so it can be used for the hot desking, but this is like the bare minimum you know, the most affordable one for $110, uh, roughly speaking. And if someone really needs a handset, they don't want to use the Teams app for their calls or their own smartphone, then this is the most inexpensive one you can get. And then we have the MP54. In short, I mean, if you really want this and you want one that connects through internet with Ethernet jack, you can get this. Otherwise, really, it's the MP56 that you want that has a full seven inch screen. You can see your contacts, you know, much easier to see voicemails and things like that rather than this smaller screen here. There's also the MP58 for Microsoft Teams. So you see it's very similar to this one in terms of screen size. It just, you know, it has flexibility to the screen, which is nicer, sits a little taller. And there's also a version here. So this is the MP58. That was about 355. This is 410. And this one, 
you can also find one with a wireless handset. Some people think they, they want this because their current analog phone it has a wireless handset. But as you use the phone system, you'll notice that you'll most likely will just use it on the computer. And if you really need to step away, it's most likely you'll just take your smartphone using the Teams app. Okay, and lastly, like I mentioned, there is the MP59. Again, this right starts at 550, larger screen. This is like if you really want to be independent of the computer in a sense, right? This has a camera, you can even do video calls here. Obviously, if someone's screen sharing, this is not the best size to see what they're showing you on their screen. Uh, but it's also an option, right? It has a nice uh, speaker here, and it can be used for a huddle space. Now, quickly, right? If you buy these additional devices, you can set up these impromptu meeting spaces, what Microsoft also calls huddle spaces. These are just the other devices you might need to purchase. Hit the like button and subscribe if you learned something new. And if you need further help on how to set up a complete Microsoft Teams business phone system, please reach out using the contact links in the video description. And of course, if you have general questions, post in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Take care.